Two Florida lawmakers are pushing for new safety measures to protect public transit workers. I spoke with public transportation officials here in Jacksonville about the two bills being proposed and what is already being done to increase safety. On Jacksonville Transportation Authority buses, all drivers are protected by this barrier. I think it's the comfort level of protecting their blind side. Um, and the barriers are designed, as you'll see when you get on the bus, so that the operator still has the ability to communicate with our customer. JTA installed the shields on its entire fleet last year. It's one of several safety measures some lawmakers are pushing for statewide. The proposed bill requires de-escalation training for drivers. Signs on all public transit buses warning passengers it's a felony to assault transit workers, in addition to installing protective barriers. The push for increased safety measures comes after a Tampa bus driver was attacked and killed last year. In Jacksonville, a News for Jack's I-Team investigation in October found dozens of reported attacks on JTA bus drivers since 2014, including reports of drivers being spit on, punched and held at gunpoint. Dwayne Russell is the president of the Immaculated Transit Union, representing many drivers. This bill actually, uh, it helps everybody. Uh, it helps the operators and it helps our passengers also. Russell says the measures outlined in the bill are preventative and critical to ensure driver safety. In the last year, JTA has taken several proactive measures to improve safety for drivers. On top of installing the protective barriers, they do also have signs on their buses reminding passengers that there is a penalty for harming drivers. It is also really important to note that something else that they are doing is they've really increased their partnership with JSO and the state attorney's office to kind of make sure that they are putting driver safety and That's first. interesting and it's good for the public to know that, to have that security, you know, when they're using their services. And an interesting point that the union did also point out is that this is not just about safety for the drivers, it's safety for the passengers as well. Because if somebody would happen to attack a driver, then everybody is in danger if that driver would swerve off the road or if anything worse would happen. So it really is a safety measure that's for so everybody. That's good. Well, JTA and the city are going to announce a new program this morning that will provide complimentary rides to grocery stores for residents living in JTA's north side ready ride zone. It's happening at 11 a.m. at the Gateway Town Center in front of the Winn-Dixie grocery store. The mayor and JTA CEO Nathaniel Ford will speak. Winn-Dixie's foundation and Feeding Northeast Florida will be hosting another mobile food distribution there this morning from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And this is the third week of that mobile food distribution. It is important to note that in just a few weeks, that Winn-Dixie will officially be opening. That is set to happen February 12th. So in the meantime, they are holding these mobile food distributions for people in that community so they have access to food. Exciting news for people who live out there. It certainly is.